Good day, my friends. How are you? Welcome on back to the channel. Today, I've been decided to shoot this video in an outdoor location just to do something different. So today, we will discuss about excretion. Now, waiting excretion be excretion now any process where they help to remove all the um, waste products we don't build up from metabolism. Every different organism they run through it they call metabolism, and this metabolism they generate a lot of waste. Now, this waste the Organism, no fit allow this waste, make it a build up for the body of the organism because it go clog the body of the organism, clog the system, and that organism no go fit, they run all the different processes where it they run. So in order to keep this organism functional, every organism they undergo with them, they call excretion. Now if we look through excretion, different organs and structures they with different organisms they use run excretion. Now we'll quickly talk about just three of these structures with different organisms they use. The first structure we will talk about now our contractile vacuum. Now, within contractile vacuum, B, this is a structure where different organisms, especially our protozoan, our freshwater organisms, they use the, pro the um, contractile vacuum for their excretion. And how did they take them? Now, this contractile vacuum, would they gather all the nitrogenous waste materials where they inside the body of the cell? They go, they gather all these. Um, uh, materials together and as they gather them together once they don't gather and reach a level where we say the inside of the cell don't uh, the inside of the contractor vacuum don't come tick very well because many substances don't they inside you will find this way judge to the edge of the cell come push out or pump out all these waste materials with the inside the body of the freshwater protozoan and now so good they do over and over and over again just in a bid to make sure say he maintain osmotic potential and maintain balance for inside the body of the protozoan. This one day very important to note. That one is the first structure. Second, we will talk, we will talk about flame cells. Flame cells now particular um, interesting excretory structures where they present inside the body of flatworms. Many flatworms they and some other worms today we get flame cells and flame cells now cells where they call nucleated cells and they go there inside the body of these. Uh, worms and the work where they, they do now simply to you know clean the body of these uh, uh, organisms and help these organisms with their excretion so this one they very important we get different these flame cells they did for inside the body of the flat worms and they go they draw out every kind of uh, waste where they for inside the body of the organism if they gather them together they will they push them out through different orifices holes where they for inside the body of this organism so this one day important to note lastly we will talk about nephridia nephridia now another structure where many different kinds of organisms they get where do they use for their excretion organisms like our mollusks that's our snails our arachnida some other ones too so they get nephridia and this nephridia they day in pairs and they go the day for different segments of the body of these organisms and the organisms go they use this nephridia you know gather nitrogenous waste where they inside their body come pump all these nitrogenous waste out in the form of urine or urea it's one day very important to know this is not just the simple discussion we will start we will do a three-part series on excretion so please remember to like our content share our content and you know subscribe to our channel click our notification um, button and then anytime we release these videos you will fit see waiting the sub thank you for listening to this video and have a wonderful day